All right. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praise and glory to the Ahabah Shimon Shah. We uniquely call God in Jesus Christ. You know, we want to give double honor to our elders and teach the word and feed the flock. But basically, we out here preaching the gospel. We out here as, as watchmen of the Lord to warn, to warn the people out here that the Lord is about to make his second coming. That the people are about to get bad out here in America. And it's all prophesied in the Bible. Now, a lot of people don't like when you come out here and speak up right here, but whether you're here for beer, that's what we're commanded to do. And we're going to do that through the Spirit. Now, right now, basically, man, a lot of, you know, everything is going on, everybody's on vacation, having a good old time, and if they're not going, stuff is about to get bad in this country, man. It's about to get real ugly out here. And why is the Lord going to turn to the heat up? It's because of the wickedness that's going on around here. That's right. Everybody out here, they for wickedness. They're not trying to live uprightly according to the scriptures. You know? They're not trying to follow the ways of righteousness. They want to stay dumb and, do and docile. You know? And basically, this is going to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're part of the children of Israel. Right. We are here to teach you and to wake you up. Right. You know? According to the Bible. Okay. It's Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. That's right. So that's what we're commanded to do, man. We're supposed to lift up our voice like a trumpet to show our people where they're going off. So what if it hurts your feelings if we're coming wrong? But you get tough love, man, because we're out here warning you, man. We gotta warn the wicked of their ways unless their blood be upon their head. And right now, the spirit of Sodom is on a lot of you people, man. You got a lot of homosexual, homosexuality, lesbianism going on. When the Bible condemns it, I was just watching the video where basically at the White House, Obama has some little children present their little conference to proclaim that June is the month of uh, the lesbian, bisexual, gay, trans, uh, gender pride month. So that's 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 an abomination in the sight of the Lord, man. But you people want to walk in that vibration and uphold it. And let little kids do it. Showing you what type of society this is, man. But y'all must not know that the, the Heavenly Father, he about to send his wrath upon this place, like he did ancient Sodom and Gomorrah for the same shit. That's right. Straight up freakism. Trans, transgender. What kind of shit is that, man? Yeah, the 
look to that, man. Because their spirit wasn't right with them. That's why he gave them look to that spirit, man. But a lot of people like to, they like to claim that people are born that way. That's a fucking lie. Ain't nobody born that way. You choose to go that route. And the Lord, if you want, and that's your lust, the Lord will give you up to that. Because that's where you want to go. But the end of the end of going that way is destruction. Somebody get James the first chapter. Get James the first chapter. Get James the first chapter. 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 James the Blessed is the man that is doing temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. That's right. Temptation, man. You got to endure temptation. You got to fight those demons off of you, man. Okay. Mr. Lord, I promise you to do my love him. According to the Lord. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. That's right, man. So don't, don't put it on the wrong side that all of a sudden you feel in your heart that you want to you want to make that switch. That you want to become a, a, a factor. You want to go and get your, you want to go get breast You want to go get your little rod cut off. You know? You want to go put your eye, your eyelashes and get your eyebrows arched and shit, you know? don't, don't put that on the wrong side. You know that? Yeah. And, that, and that's what they do when they say they burn them. They should say the most high made you to immediately break this law. For God did not tempt you with evil, neither took you to keep any man. That's right, man. The Lord don't tempt you with that type of shit. The Lord ain't gonna tell you that. Go ahead, man. I'm gonna do it, man. So, I think the Lord would do it. He would be contradicting himself if he did that. So you can't put that on the Heavenly Father, man. For all, all these fucking faggots, or even people who are trying to be faggots, but they always have a argument with them. You know what I'm saying? The ones that saying, I ain't got a problem with their, with their so-called orientation. They like to try to make arguments and justify the wicked, man. God, you know, God made them that way, and they born that way. Fuck no, man. That's blasphemy. Right. Yeah. But neither tempted he any man. Uh -huh. Every man is tempted. He is drawn away of his own lust yeah. and enticed. When you drawn away of your own lust and enticed, you know, it starts to feel good to you. It becomes your lust, man. And that's a sick ass perverted lust to want to become a, 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 the other uh, sex, man. To want to get a sex change and shit. And to top it off on how confused this wicked ass place is, some of you cross over only to stay with your same fucking uh, gender, man. What kind of shit is that? You just, let me let me say it another way. Comfortable being a man with another man. Or another woman with another woman. Yeah. That don't make no sense, man. But that's of your own lust, man. And you and you being touched by it. You know? And I blame this devil for that, man. Because our people get a lot of that fucking devil, man. So-called white man. That's why the scriptures say in Proverbs, the the uh, Proverbs 12 and 26. That vibration is from you. And then you're the one that uphold, uphold the laws to protect them and do those type of things. Man. Instead of following this book, which the book tells you to, to condemn them, put their ass to death, to put away evil from them. Man. They say it's so enticing to put a be homosexual for a lot of people. That they get benefits from being homosexual. That's right, man. But the world acts as often as benefits from being. Acts all these so called famous people that have to go to the breakfast chair and go to the breakfast council, whatever they call it. The other council, council, whatever. You gotta go to the water that the homosexual acts to get top notch papers. As a B2B and Eastern Orthodox Church, we don't have that shit. 
the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. That's talking about the nation of Israel, man. Because the Lord made Israel to be a righteous people unto himself, man. We are his, we are his inheritance, man. His inheritance. So we're supposed to represent for the Lord, man, as a people. Right. But what happened to him? Go ahead. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Uh -huh. But the way of the wicked seduces him. But the way of the wicked seduces him. That's the reason why our, a lot of our people like to flip out and follow the ways of this devil, man. It, 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 it entices them, man. They get off of them. And they look up to you because you're ruling. So if they look up to the people that's ruling, and they see that that's how those people that's ruling the earth right now conduct themselves, and they're successful, and they're successful with it, they're going to basically do the same shit. They don't want to follow suit. Because your spirit is seducing. Thank you. 
says there. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. So, men with men. Right, so it's saying the men is leaving their natural use of the woman, burned their lust toward one another, right? That's specifically talking about homosexuality, right? Right. You leaving the natural use of a woman, which is to have sex with a woman, to have children with her, to go and burn your lust towards another man. Right? When you look at things from a natural point of view, you will see, look, look at how our bodies are made, man. A woman was created to have a, a, a shapely figure, childbearing is. She has a womb for your rock to go into. And it's pleasurable. It's all, it was all created and set up, man. Perfect. But men want to be wicked and turn away from that. They want to go towards another man. So you can go towards a man that's built and shaped just like you. Or probably more deadly. And you want to take pleasure in a man popping you up your rectum.
buy that debt and then you cut this, man. You only know, you know, you know, the tightest fucking jeans. You probably got all these more things to pay this, man. You know, you can switch. This man got a, he got a lay on his back just to slide his pants up, man. Like a female. There's countless witness against his ass, man. That he's a sign of life. From his, his effeminate vibration and how he conducts himself. There's a lot of you men out here, man. You, you fucking effeminate, man. Why ain't no masculine straight men out here, man? You, know, you, don't, you don't stand with, 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 with your back straight, man. When he was walking with that, with that, uh, that, that lip risky shit. Broken wrist and shit. Walking with, with your pants on tight and hanging off your ass like you got a, a fucking uh, a jerk or a cue a, a stick up your ass. Hey, they literally pull their shirt up so they box it. Right. Showing show other men they fucking ass, man. Don't know real men want to see that, man. Right. This is uh, Sirach 19 and 29. A man may be known by his look, yep. and one that has understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him. Yeah, so when we meet you, we'll understand according to the spirit what type of man you are when we keep your countenance, man. All we gotta do is look you up and down and try your spirit and know if you if you if you going south of the border. It's not hard for us to be cut out. I'll look into your eye and tell you you're a faggot, man. Now, all the men that's in this knowledge, man, we got that spiritual discernment, man. We know when you're a, a faggot or not, man. Verse 30 says, a man's attire and excessive laughter and gay. Do what he is. That's right, man. That's your eyes like the you are, man. You think everything is a joke. You laugh all the time. The scriptures say the whites do scarcely uh, smile, man. Ain't nothing to be laughing about out here. Especially for all the time that we're coming into, man. We're coming into the time of tribulation. The dollar is about to collapse. Pretty soon the, 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 the economy is about to crash. They were right. talking about that for the, for, for the longest, man. Your economists, they tell you that, that the, the prices of gold is still shooting up. The value of the dollar is going down. They let you know that, man. It's going to be a day on Wall Street, man. They're going to they gonna they gonna have a right, man. And then it's going to boil over here to the streets. So, 
scientists are still going over there, discovering, and trying to figure out what happened to that place. Okay? And it's showing you through science that this, this world is true. Okay? Because all they see is the pillars of salt. Ash and a sulfur ball. Okay? This place, this stuff is this, this set for the example. Okay? Messiah, they were they were his lovers, man. 
Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo during right. the Renaissance. And this man, you can read something, you can look at the book. He goes from his name was Cesare Borgia or Caesar Borgia. He, 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 he was a, a, a son of, of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. All right? Or Pope Rodrigo Borgia, right? Which, that man, they, they, he claimed to be God because they started ruling in Europe at the time. In, uh, in Italy, there was the first crime family. This man's convicted of having sex with his own sister. No, he was a devil, a liar. He to kill his brothers and his mother. They got, they got a series on Showtime about this man and his family. Right? So going back into Revelation, that extra Lord has to this man. It's the first Maccabees 3 and 48. They laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their image. That's right, bro. That's what these devils did. Call it iconoclasm. Iconoclasm. Basically, white walking the images, man. You paint it over. Because you can go see, uh, to Russia and look at the, the icon, look at the people of God, and you don't see a people. Who are people of color. They wasn't Martin Levinson. Right? They wasn't red skin. They wasn't black. They wasn't white. Right? They were white. They were white. They were white. That's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. 